there should be some kind of sanctions against that place until they make they make some type of change. You can't take the vertebrae out of your back just to fit inside of someone's ceiling. Mm -hmm. You have to stand up full and proud, stand up erect. My, my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. It seems like Cat Williams has found another supporter in Terrence Howard. Terrence is speaking out about how he got tired of Hollywood trying to make him wear a dress. According to Terrence, Hollywood is trying to make black men seem less masculine. He's also saying that they labeled him as hard to work with just because he didn't want to play certain roles. There have been rumors about Hollywood pushing this agenda to make black men seem more feminine, and big names like Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams have spoken up about it. They think black actors are pressured to wear dresses on screen before they can become famous. While some fans think it's not a big deal, others disagree. It appears that Terrence is standing firm in his decisions. There's talk that Hollywood labeled him as difficult to work with simply because he refused a certain role. Terrence is tired of being sidelined by the industry and hinted that he might quit acting altogether because Hollywood's agenda is making him feel unwell. This is something to keep an eye on. The stuff you've got to watch. See, that's why you got to clear this stuff up. You've got to watch the stuff that they put out there, you know, because they're just trying to make money. Mm -hmm. So you've probably heard about Cat Williams sparking up the talk again on the rumored agenda in Hollywood. There's talk about how black male actors are pushed to wear dresses on screen before they hit the big leagues. Now, some sources are saying Terrence Howard might have been one of the many actors who got sidelined for saying no to wearing a dress as the angry black man, especially after he started speaking out against Hollywood's agenda to undermine black masculinity. This idea of Hollywood pushing a more feminine image on black men isn't new. Many black comedians and actors, like Eddie Griffin, have openly criticized it. Eddie was one of the original voices calling out Hollywood for making black actors wear dresses on screen. He spoke about Hollywood's rumored dress-wearing agenda way back in 1999 in his comedy Foolish, where he not only starred but also wrote the entire script. In Foolish, Eddie plays the role of Miles Foolishways, an aspiring comedian trying to make it big in Hollywood. In one memorable scene, studio executives try to convince Foolish to wear a dress for a role by telling him that all the A-listers have done it. So what do you think? It's never been done before. Three lovable drag queens driving cross-country, helping middle America solve its problems. Y'all want me to wear a dress? Foolish, this isn't a throwaway role. You'll be carrying the emotional energy of the movie. Man, it, it's, it's not that I don't appreciate the offer, because I do, but... All we're asking you to do is to take the script home, read it, and make a decision. Then make the decision. Foolish. There's a lot of money involved. We're talking a major motion picture here, Foolish. Flashback to 2006, Dave Chappelle revealed some shocking details on The Oprah Show. He recounted an incident where he was pressured to wear a dress for a movie role alongside Martin Lawrence. His description of the experience sounded eerily similar to a scene from Foolish. And he put this dress on, and it, huh? What? The prostitute? Nah, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with it. That should have been in the discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it? I mean, it's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. Jumping ahead a bit, when Kevin Hart was asked about Dave Chappelle's story, he simply shrugged it off, stating that he never experienced anything like that himself. Definitely haven't ran into to put on the dress. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you have to have you have to have boundaries. You have to have limits that you refuse to cross. Uh, you know, for me, I know what they. Just a few years later, Kevin found himself in an SNL sketch wearing a dress, and it seemed to change the game for his career. Suddenly, Kevin's popularity and success soared, reportedly due to that moment on SNL. But the dress saga doesn't end there. Cat Williams entered the conversation, suggesting that the decision to wear a dress is linked to whether you choose to associate with the Illuminati or not. Oh, you know, some of us make choices. I think it's not a biggest choice um, for others. I'm saying, um, at the end of the day, Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are gonna say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> so now, we had Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. <laughs> so now I'm saying, why are we picking old poor little Kevin Hart? Because it was his turn next. 
Okay. Some of us are against the Illuminati, and we are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. Mm. When people are against the Illuminati, then they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them, and nobody likes them. Back then, most people dismissed Kat's words as a wild conspiracy theory. But fast forward to today, and people are reconsidering his words, suggesting there might be some truth to what he was saying. During Kat's recent appearance on Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp asked him about Dave Chappelle walking away from a massive $50 million deal shortly before revealing the dress incident. And you won't believe what Kat revealed. It turns out he also had to turn down some lucrative contracts because they came with certain conditions attached. Now I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times, just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling yeah! you about. <laughs> right, because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. But Kat didn't stop there. He also alleged that Martin Lawrence attempted to get him to wear his first dress for Big Mama's house. When Kat refused, Brandon T. Jackson stepped in and took the role instead. Martin. Back to Terrence Howard. Recent reports have surfaced suggesting that the dress issue was one of the main reasons he distanced himself from Hollywood. Let me catch you up on the latest interview with Terrence. When questioned about the buzz surrounding him turning his back on Hollywood, he got it. Terrence Howard swiftly debunked reports claiming he was ousted from Iron Man 2 due to anger issues and lack of cooperation on set. He made it clear that he wouldn't let Hollywood dictate how a black man should be portrayed on screen. According to Terrence, black actors are being pressured to adopt a more effeminate image to achieve success in the industry. He emphasized his belief in staying true to oneself, saying, My daddy taught me never take the vertebrae out of your back or the base out of your throat. Terrence expressed frustration with Hollywood's treatment of strong black men, noting that only white men seem to be allowed to be both strong and non-threatening simultaneously. He argued for expanding narratives to allow men to embrace their masculinity while appreciating women's beauty. Online, opinions on this issue vary widely, with some dismissing Terrence and Cat Williams as conspiracy theorists and others acknowledging the validity of their concerns. Some individuals argue that actors wearing dresses is a trivial concern compared to more pressing issues like rap, hip-hop, and hood culture. They view putting on a dress as solely for comedic purposes, citing films like Nutty Professor, White Chicks, and Big Mama's House as examples of hilarious performances. They suggest that making people laugh is the primary goal. On the other hand, many fans commend Terrence and Kat for shedding light on what they perceive as Hollywood's darker side. They believe there's a more sinister agenda behind the portrayal of black men in dresses. Some agree with Terrence's assertion that there's a deliberate effort to emasculate black men in media. In response, one person expressed support for Terrence, stating that there's no conspiracy and that Hollywood is aware of its agenda. Another expressed concern about the complacency of men in the face of potential emasculation. They argue that financial gain is prioritized over resisting harmful portrayals. Overall, opinions on Terrence Howard's comments vary. Some agree with his stance, while others view the dress controversy as overblown. The debate continues and individuals are encouraged to share their thoughts in the comments.